Hello. 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 Hello, 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 Jim and Zitz's teacher, and again from Listen and Speak. How are you? I'm happy. Uh, that's great to hear. Are you ready for our English class? Yes. Okay, that is nice. So I'll be sharing your book, and I want you to look. Okay. 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 So last time. We talked about the words here about our new story. So we learned some new words. We will read it one more time, okay? Okay. Okay. So, what is the first word here? Let's have a quick review. What is this? Classmate. Classmate. So. Like others, so other kids, they also have classmates, like same kids in your grade level, like you're in fourth grade. So you can say you have other kids in fourth grade, you call them classmates. Do you have classmates, Jimin? Yes. How many classmates uh, do you have? Four classmates. Four? Classmate. Oh, how many classmates do you have inside your class? In Jimin's class? How many? How many classmates? Four. Only four? Yeah. In Jimin's class? Yes. You're in fourth grade, right? What grade are you in, Jimin? What grade are you in? First grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade. Oh, let me um ask you this way. So Can you see this? Four. Oh. You're in fourth grade, right? Fourth grade. So how many kids? How many kids in fourth grade? How many classmates? Like 20? 30? How many mm. classmates do you have in fourth grade? 27. 27. That's a lot. Can you say, I have 27 classmates? Can you say that? Uh, I have 27 I, classmates. I have, I have 27 classmates. Ooh, thank you. That is correct. So when you say classmates, another student in the same class. Now, Let's go and try the next word. What is this? Jimin, what is this? Rob. Rob. Rob means to move back and forth. Like the cat. The cat, okay, as we can see in the picture, the cat robs. The cat robs his head to the boy. Okay, Rob. Back and forth. Back and forth. That's how you rub. Like uh, Jimin, we can rub our face. Can we rub our face? Can you do this? Let's rub. 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 Can you do this, Jimin? Look at the camera. Show to teacher Anna. Can you Hello? do this? This one, look. Can you look at teacher Anna and do this? Rob. Yeah. Okay, so that's how you rob. Back and forth. How about this one? What is this? Chin. Where is your chin, Jimin? Can you tell me where is your chin? This. This is your chin. Can I say, this is my chin. 
This is my chin. Nice work. Okay, now how about this one? What is this word? Hey. Hey, very good. So when we say stay, we don't go anywhere. We stay here. Okay, like the dog. The dog stays here. The dog is not running. Okay, the dog just stay on the same place. Okay, now let's say stay. Stay. Okay, so before we go, let's read this word. What is this? Jimin? Uh, Classmate? Classmate. How about this one? Chin. Oh, this one, look. Rob. Rob. And this one? Chin. Chin. Very good. And lastly, we have... Stay. Stay. Good job. Good job, Jimin. Now, let's try something here. I want you to look, okay? We still have two more words here. What is the next one? Let's look here. Okay, let's look here. Jimin, what is this? Feeling. Feeling. So feeling, we have different feelings. Happy, sad, angry, scared. So we feel a lot of things. Okay, how about now, Jimin? Jimin, how are you today? How are you today? Happy. I am? I am. I am happy. Okay, happy is example of feeling, okay? Happy. Okay. Okay, how about this happy. one? What is it? Kick. Kick, so we use kick to hit something. Okay, we can use our, um, we use our foot to hit something using our, um, we hit something using our foot, like in soccer. Do you play soccer? Um, do you play soccer? Yes. Yeah, so how do you kick? You use your foot. Do you use your hand to kick? Jimin, do you use your hand to kick? No. No. No, you use your foot to kick. Remember that. Now, let's go here. We have some things to answer. We're done with this. Now, let's go here, okay? So, you will choose your answer from these three words above. Number one. Can you read number one? To keep. To keep. Being. Being in the same place. So keep being in the same place. Like you will not move. You're in the same place. Feeling, rob, or stay. Uh -huh. To keep being in the same place. Rob. No, it's not the same place. The cat is moving. The cat is stay. moving. That's not that's not keeping in the same place. Just one is stay. It's in the same place. It's not moving. You call that stay. How about number two? Mm -hmm. Move something back and forth on another thing. To so move something back and forth to other thing. To 
to move. What is that, Jimin? To move something back and forth. Is it feeling or rub? Rob? Rob. Good job. Okay. Okay, now let's have number three. Can you read number three? The thing that you think and feel about feeling. Okay, what's your answer? Feelings. Feeling. Okay, good job. Feeling. Now, you got it all correct, Jimin. That's a great word. Thank you very much. Now, let's try something here. So, you need to choose the correct word to complete the sentences below, okay? Okay, so let's try number one. Can you read number one? My mom... My mom My mom son cream on my skin. Okay. How do you put sun cream? My mom loves sun cream on my skin. Very good. Do you do you use sun cream? Jimin? Huh? Do you use sun cream? Like, uh, if it's outside, you put cream? Like, in the beach or in the pool, you put cream? Sun cream? Yes. Yes, you need to because it's so hot outside. How about number two? Let's read. I'm dared. I'm tired. I'm tired. I want to stay at home. Very good. I want to stay at home. That is another correct answer. You're doing such a good job. Okay, Jimin, we are done with this and you got all the correct answers. Thank you. Now, we're ready to read the story, okay? Okay. It's all about my talking rabbit. Can you read this for me? My? My talking. My talking? My talking rabbit. Hello? Yes. Hello? Cle classmates. Classmates. We have S here. Classmates. Hello? Classmates. I, I want to tell you about rabbit. They... They can tell talk talk to they you. They can talk to you. They 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 can talk to you. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know how rabbit rabbit use their bodies to tell? Talk. Talk. Okay, again, let's review this words. You're a bit confused with this one. It's not... Okay. Chimin, what is this word? 
Can you help me read this? Hog. Hog. Very good. Now, so when we say talk, it means what? Use your mouth. Talk. Like now, I am talking. Talk. Okay, and rabbits. What do rabbits use to talk, Jimin? What do rabbits use to talk? They use what? They use... They, they use their bodies. They use their bodies like this one. They use their bodies, their tail, their head, their legs and hands. They use their body to talk. Let's have the next part now. Let's read Jimin. For example, let's read. For example, car is a temple. The beach say where they live. 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 They love. They are. Teen. On. Things. They are. More it's a mess. smell, smell, taste. They are eat tears. Other I live. I live. I live. I live. I live here. here. Yeah. Okay, so Jimin, I want you to look and listen carefully, okay? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, I want you to look here and listen. We will talk about this part. Okay, so rabbits tell where they live. They, what do they do? What do they do to tell us where they live? They what? They love their chin on things. Oh, yes. And when they rub, they rub their chin on things. What happens? Their? Their smell stay. Is their taste? Taste? Stay? They are okay. Jimin, when they rub their chin on things, the smell stays there. So you can smell, you can smell where rabbits live because they rub their body, they rub their chin, and that tells that um the rabbit can say it uh, tells others that a rabbit lives there. Let's continue. Let's read, Jimin. This place. This place is mean. This place is mine. This place is mine. Rabbit. A bit sometimes run about around in that circle circles again rabbit. Rabbit sometimes run about in circles. Very good. Uh, what does it mean? It means? Means. Mm. 
Let's read, Jimin. She uh, means it means it means they want to play. Okay, let's stop there. Okay, Jimin. Okay. Okay. So here, what do they do when they want to play, Jimin? What do rabbits what do? do? When they want to play, mm. oh, maybe sometimes learn a lot in circle. Very good, and that means they want to play. Let's continue. Let's read Jimin. Rabbits. It's time to read again. Rabbits. Rabbit. Uh, also, tell you their feelings. They jump in the air and kick their feet up. Very good. So... When um, they are telling that what if they kick their feet up, what does that mean? They are what does that mean, Jimin? When they kick their feet up, what does that mean? They are telling. You, I am, are happy. I am. One more time, please. I am. I am so happy. Okay, so again, Jimin, what do they do when they are happy? Yes. What do they, yes, what do they do? What do they do when they are happy? Do they run around in circles? What do they do to tell that they are happy? They They jump in the air and kick. Kick? Kick what? Kick, kick their, their feet, feet up. up. Very good. So that's how they say that they are happy. So Jimin, we learned how rabbits talk. They talk using their bodies. And now let's read the last part before we answer some questions. Let's read, Jimin. Do you have, do you have a pet rabbit next time watch each body? What is it? Saying. Okay, what is it saying? That's nice. Now let's have this one, okay? So I want you to look here, okay? Because mm. we will answer a question about our story. So, can you please choose the main idea, Jimin? We need to look for the main idea. What is the story all about? Okay? Okay. Now, let's read A and B first. Let's read our options. Now, letter A. Can you read letter A? Mean. Oh, well, let's read letter A, please. Rabbit like... Rabbit like to jump and kick their feet in the air. How about letter B? How about letter B? 
Can you read letter B, please? Rabbits use their body to talk to use us. Us. One more time. Can you read letter B? Rabbits use their bodies to talk to you. you, 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 you. Yes. Ah. Ah. Us. Again, let's read. Rabbits use their bodies to talk to us. Rabbits use their bodies to talk to us. Good job. So what is our answer? What do you think is the main idea, Jimin? Is it A or B? What is the story all about? Is it A or B? Rabbits use their bodies to talk to us. What is your answer, Jimin? A or B? Just tell me the letter. What's your answer? Jimin, you just need to B. choose A or B. B. It's letter B. Very good. The story is all about how rabbits use their bodies to talk to us. That is an amazing work, Jimin. Thank you very much. Now, let's answer some questions about our story, okay? Let's do number one first. Can you help me with number one? What does, what does the underlined it mean? mean? Okay, let's go back to the story. Let's look for the underlined it. Oh, this one. Can you see it, Jimin? This one? Uh, Can you see it? It. Oh, yeah. So, what is this it? So, let's read. They rub. They rub their chin on things. Their? Their smell. Stay there. Okay. So, they rub their chin on things and their smell stays there. So, what is the word it? Is it rubbing their chin, shouting aloud, or hugging their friends? Rabbit make. Uh -huh. Rubbing their chin, rubbing, shouting aloud, or hugging their friends? Rubbing their chin. Very good. So, let's say. It means, you can say it in a sentence like this. It means rubbing their chin. Can you read this one for me, please? It means? So it means rubbing their chin. Nice work. That is very, very cool. Thank you very much. Now, let's go here. So, it's already time, Jimin. You did a nice work. We will continue our lesson next meeting, okay? Okay. Because it's already time. So, we'll continue answering this and completing some sentences down here. Okay. So, thank you for your time, Jimin. You did a nice work tonight. Have a great night. Thank you. And goodbye.